In this tutorial we're going to use a basic electric guitar patch from Alchemy CM, spice it up with some extra picks and notes and use it in a kind of a pop rock track. And it will sound like this. First we need to write our bass line, we'll do that with Alchemy CM. It's quite a useful bass patch here. Electric bass. The MIDI part for this is in the uh, Bass Guitar Tutorials folder, one bass MIDI dot mid. And you'll want the project at 120 BPM. Now the great thing about this patch is that the patch actually consists of two different articulations, mute fingered and slap pick, and these can be adjusted with the matrix here. So we're going to add some automation within Logic to switch between those two articulations as the bass line plays. Just add an automation lane. And out of the thousands of different options within Alchemy, we want uh, XYPad 1X. So let's program in some changes. So next we'll add some emphasis to the notes here by adding some live bass samples. We're going to use two different types of samples. We'll add some picks and scratches to the notes we've already got and we'll actually replace some of the MIDI notes with notes from a live phrase. We've added some live phrases into the uh, tutorials folder for you to chop up yourself and uh, these are just, just here, live bass lines for chopping up. So let's drag a couple of those in and see if we can pull some picks out. We use the cut tool within Logic just to identify some picks and chop those out on their own. That one's quite good. There's another one there. We use that one as well. Probably don't need that one. And we just want to line those up with the MIDI notes that we've already got to give them a bit of extra bite and presence. We'll also do the same with some notes. And these will be on a new track. Because we're actually uh, chopping up notes this time, we'll replace the MIDI information with the notes. Let's find some good ones. That's a nice one there. Maybe we'll replace the last two MIDI notes with that. Delete those. And we'll do that throughout our phrase. We also are going to um, just fade the end of those extra little sections that we've put in with the Logic Fade tool. This might be different in your door. This is just to prevent any kind of unwanted clicks. So we'll go through our phrase and uh, add some more picks and some more notes. So this is what it sounds like now. That's not bad, but the volume levels need evening out really, so it sounds like one bass line. Um, we'll bring these down to uh, about minus 18 for the MIDI part. About minus 12 for the clicks, so they're slightly more prominent. Minus 18 for the extra notes as well. Just need to do that in the automation because the uh, automation's on for the MIDI track. We'll also send all of those tracks to a bus so that we can process them together and uh, make them sound a little bit more cohesive. And on the bus we'll put a Logic uh, compressor 
And we'll go for one from the uh, guitars, presets. Effect bass is fine. The ratio is not massive, um, so it's not going to make a huge difference, but it will even out the levels a bit. We'll just play it through and adjust the compressor threshold until we can see that it's being affected. A threshold of about minus 30 is fine. So we're going to want our bass line to fit in with a drum track and a couple of guitars. We've got the drums here in the tutorials folder, drums only. Just put that at the top there. To do this we'll have to do some EQ adjustments on the bass bus. So we'll load up an instance of an EQ plugin from the CM Studio, DDMF to EQ Pro. And we'll make a couple of adjustments um, so that we avoid the kick. We'll dial down at about 60 hertz, uh, minus 3 dB. Quite a tight cut, we'll put a Q value of 2. The bass line also has a kind of buzzy sound at about uh, 500 hertz, so we'll try and get rid of that as well. Minus 4.6 dB. We'll make that 500 with a Q of uh, 1.5 and we'll roll off some of the highs as well. We'll do that at 3.3k and uh, 0.75q. This will clear some of the space in the high range for the percussion and the other guitars to slot in. We'll also add an instance of SATS and CM channel emulator. This works really well with uh, bass lines. Again, this is in the CM Studio, and we'll push the gain to 3. Right click and you can add that manually. So just to give you an idea of how this sounds with guitars added in as well, we've added the uh, triple track guitars from the previous walkthrough, and also the basic strum from the very first walkthrough. We'll add an emulator to the basic strum and we'll use uh, Amplification CM with the mid lead preset. And we'll just add a low cut filter to both of those as well, just to keep them out of the way of the drums and the bass. 200 Hz should be fine. Let's see how it sounds. <laughs> 